Hi folks, Bryony Thomas here, author and founder of Watertight Marketing. I'm here today a little later than usual on my 10 day, um, 10 days of 10 minutes of learnings over my 10 years in business. And uh, the reason I'm late today is because on a Friday morning, I do a live Q&A for the delegates on our master plan program, which uh, is what I was doing at 10 a.m. this morning. So if you'd like to join in with, um, with, with me today, please do that by commenting um, on, the, on the video. Um, if you're listening back to a recording or it's on LinkedIn or YouTube or whatever, do comment there as well and I will check in and reply. So um, here we are on day five of 10 and I've been thinking a lot about these um, lessons and learnings and it's been really interesting for me to reflect on, um, on what I have learned really along the journey. And today what I want to talk about is um, being generous and being kind. So the lesson for today is about generosity and kindness. Um, and I, I truly believe, so I have a, um, a book scoped out that I believe will come out, not next year, probably the year after, um, called Commercial Karma, Why Treating People Decently is a Business Strategy. And part of that idea is around being generous. And what I believe that means in business is that you're generous with your, with your knowledge and your expertise. And that generosity I have tended to find um, will pay you back. So if you, um, if you think you're sitting on you know, the crown jewels, hiding it away and being mean about it um, won't shine a light on it. Generosity with your thoughts, your ideas will shine a light on it. And I think in your interactions with clients, um, I would uh, kind of have a default setting, a, a kind of backdrop of um, always being generous and kind and kind of empathetic in your engagements with them. What does this mean in practice? It means uh, creating great content. It means sharing your ideas without locking it down. Um, and this goes to the Wall Street marketing methodology around earning the right to time. And if, you, if people enjoy spending time with you because you're generous um, with your ideas, with your compassion, with your empathy, then they're more likely to spend time with you. And this really does um, relate to today's gift. So today's gift is a biggie. Um, I have put aside the entire working day on the 25th of October to spend with 10 of you. So there will be a morning session. I can fit five people around the table. So there'll be a morning session of five people and an afternoon session of five people in a round table setting as a mastermind group. And please, um, if you apply for this, what's going to happen is you'll have a call with Lou Johnson in our team. Lou will have a chat with you to make absolutely sure that um, it's a good use of your time um, and a good use of my time. That we get, It's two and a half hours together um, around a table talking about your business. And um, I love mastermind groups and the best way to go to these networking groups, mastermind groups and uh, meeting with others is to go with generosity in mind, to give of your best thoughts, to park um, thinking about your own business when, when you're listening to theirs. Because I have always found that I've, found I've had my best ideas for somebody else's business because it's almost refreshing to put your head into their challenge. Um, they say a change is as good as a rest. And what I find in these round table sessions, these mastermind sessions, is that you're able to put your brain in a different space. Because you put your, um, your thoughts to what you would do in their shoes. And that is a bit like stepping out of your shoes for a bit. And there's something very refreshing about that. Um, so if you would like to join us, it's in Bristol on the 25th of October and you will need to apply um, so that we can make absolutely sure that the, that the people around the table are going to work well together and it'll be a good use of our time. Now, I'm talking about generosity, um, compassion and kindness. That's what I'm talking about today. And, and I think that should come across in your marketing. I think it should come across um, in the way that you interact with the world. And a default setting should be, um, you know, uh, to, to feel generous and to be generous. But I would say to you that you must also apply that to yourself. Be generous and kind and compassionate to yourself. And this is a lesson that I um, continue to learn. I wouldn't say I'm a master. Um, you know, my own internal voices aren't always compassionate and generous to me, um, as I think is true of many entrepreneurs. So I would um, 
see and work on being generous with yourself. What does that mean? What does being generous with yourself mean? It means pricing your products and services at a level that facilitates the life you want to lead. It means not, um, you know, not being sacrificial about the way that you price your services, being generous and compassionate and kind um, to yourself in valuing what you provide to the world. How else would I say you need to be generous to yourself? You need to be generous to yourself by um, celebrating successes, as I said earlier. But also, um, I was chatting to a client yesterday, and I was sharing with him one of the one of the um, things that I do. One of the things I do on a on a sometimes on a daily basis, but always on a weekly basis. And um, I have a thing called a success log, and um, and I sit down and I uh, with uh, my uh, with my assistant here, and we say, what did we get done? This week that was good it's called a success log and i just bullet point all of the things we did get done rather and obviously at the end of the week i also put together a to-do list for the following week but i balance that with um remembering all the stuff i have achieved in the week and i think often when we're very busy in our businesses we get very focused on the growing uh, list of things we'd love to do or haven't yet done um, and i think being a little generous with yourself um, in recording and recognizing what you have done um, can be really, really powerful. So generosity um, is both an external thing and an internal thing. And I, um, I, I was quoted in the Valuable Content book by Sonia Jefferson and Sharon Tanton. That they've got a quote from me in there which says um, that with your content, you know you're kind of giving enough away for free when it hurts a little bit. And what I mean by that is you put out your best stuff. You put out your best stuff. Um, you put into the world something that is truly, truly valuable and expect nothing in return except what people choose to subsequently give you. Um, and we're really putting this into practice at the moment. We, um, I'm very excited. We, we've, ne we've sent across to the developer, the development team, a whole set of materials to put together an online, um, pro we're calling it the uh, profit priority profile and it uses the touch point leaks from chapter two in Type marketing um, to do a psychometric style profile and it will pop out people's profit priorities in sequence with um with practical tips and ideas that they can use and we're, we're going to be we're going to be giving that away for free it's our best tool it is our best tool um, and why are we doing that? We're doing that because I know that the more generous I am with, uh, with the materials, with the content, with the knowledge, the further it goes. I also ha know that in, in my business life, the more generous I've been um, with, with my knowledge uh, and warmth and compassion, the longer term the relationship has been with people. And I, what I, I you need to structure things that allow you to be generous without being sacrificial to yourself, which is why creating something like a profiling tool um, allows you to be generous without having to give your time for free. This is why I wrote the book. In fact, I think writing a business book is one of the most generous things you can do. Um, there's a, uh, there's a, one of the, Reviews on Amazon says if you paid for the knowledge in this book, it would cost you tens of thousands of pounds. And they're not wrong. You know, they're not wrong. If I were doing a program for somebody one to one or cap that was captured in that book, I'd be charging 50,000 pounds for it and you can get it for 1599. Um, so that's what I mean about being generous. You take your ideas, you take your thoughts, your best stuff, and you make it available to people for free. But in a way that doesn't mean that you are sacrificing yourself. And it's a really fine balancing act. So that's what I mean about being generous in your marketing, which is um, creating ways of allowing you to gift some of your best stuff to the world without sacrificing yourself and spreading yourself too thin and being generous with yourself by pricing things properly um, because, to allow for all of the costs involved in delivering it and profit because you need a healthy profit as well and be generous with yourself as an entrepreneur in recognizing the stuff you do achieve because if you're anything like me you're probably better at listing all the things you haven't done than the things you have so make it a ritual make it something you always do to note down what you did achieve and 
I'm obviously, you know, I'm being generous here um, with celebrating um, these 10 years, with sharing these learnings. And for 10 of you who wish to apply, we can, on, you can join me in Bristol um, on the Gloucester Road uh, on the 25th of October for a round table session in which everyone around the table will be generous with their knowledge on your challenges. So if you would like to apply for that session, go to watertightmarketing.com forward slash 10 years, do the application form, have a chat with Lou, and we'll put you in the room if we're all going to get value from you being there. So much love from me. Have a wonderful weekend. I will be back on Monday where we'll be doing the, um, we're now halfway through, so there's another five giveaways next week. Next Friday, I'm giving away one prize worth two and a half thousand pounds, so do keep tuning in. Lots of love. Bye.